push going at all times. Obviously the red team is going to do their best to uh, keep the fight right at the cart so they can keep stopping it over and over again, or even better, keep it between the cart and the spawn for blue. Yep, every second you can keep the enemy off the cart is a second that you are gaining for your own team. And in terms of final cap points, if it goes down to a, I believe that would be a Caternary tiebreaker for the finals, a point is awarded for each checkpoint crossed. So if you get to the fourth, you have four cap points. So a total of eight cap points available for each team tonight if they were to successfully push it twice. This first match tonight, Group of Drunks is coming in 6-0. and oh. They have 24 points total and have only allowed 3. 32X is 4-2. and two. They've allowed 8 points, but they've scored 28. They're in 3rd overall at this time. So this is a, uh, a hard-hitting match we're about to see. Yeah, this is, this is my match of the week. I'm really looking forward to seeing this and uh, seeing how good these two teams are. They've, uh, they've both looked really good so far. 32X had a couple of hiccups. We th I think I thought going in they were going to be one of the best teams, but I think that we'll get a chance tonight to see if they're in the same league with God or not. Well, it's not necessarily the ability to go completely untouched that makes a great team, but the ability to fight through adversity also is a very valuable, very important aspect. And this is their chance to prove that they're, they're in for the finals. Meanwhile, a group of drunks is going to be fighting hard because if they win both their matches tonight, they are, I believe, a lock for the finals. Yeah, I believe they are. Three, There's a lot of teams that can, two, make, the, can make it in, but tonight will clarify an awful lot of that for several teams. That it will, though the fact that the first tiebreaker uh, is in fact head-to-head -head record means that even an undefeated, or even a, a team with a very good record being tiebreaking against somebody else Points allowed and points for don't come into play if those teams have a 2-0 uh, or a 0-2 record in their own head-to-head -head matches. That's right. So very important to fight for every single point you can get and win every match possible because it can come back to bite you. Mission begins in Absolutely. So we have a full minute of setup time on Upward, something we haven't seen a lot of so far this uh this cup. Uh, none of the maps so far, I believe, had any setup time. Very true. This is the first AD style map. We see Gearbox has got his L3SG set up behind the first ridge, watching point number one. Oftentimes, you'll see engineers build in this cap building here next to the first point, but that may be a bit too predictable or a bit too uncovered for Gearbox, so he's setting it slightly farther back. Yeah, I think it's easy to spam, and I think he's giving his team uh, a kind of a backstop here. You notice where Blackhawk is on the left there, moving in now behind the cart. Yeah, both Ubers already out on the left. That Uber had to be blown just a little too early to make it to that wrangled sentry gun. It takes down the medic. The blue pyro is behind the line, so God's pyro is way in the backfield. Probably approaching 32x's spawn, looking for a teleport. Nice long-range bonk and, there. And uh, just as I thought Unforgiven is out and going to be active in this map, that's going to be one downside to having the sentry away from everybody else. We see, yeah, there is a player down. That was Siegfried, He's just froze up and crashed. Siegfried, the uh, lieutenant of a group of drunks, crashing out of the game. Captain Checkmate is in play, however, so they've still got their leadership. Yeah. The question will be how quickly can Siegfried get in. Fortunately, they're on offense, so they can push. It was really weird. He walked up in the spawn exit with his minigun trigger held down and just stood there firing. That's unfortunate. We see uh, 32 putting up a very solid defense here. The cart's not made it too far. It's about a little under halfway to the first point. Matches on payload can take varying amounts of time. There's a timer that counts down, so it could be as little as perhaps five or six minutes. Uh, or if a team is very fast and uh, it truly steamrolls through, it can be even shorter. It can also take a very long See time. Critzkrieg out there with uh, Vexen and Seventhorn just took down about half of the G.O.D. team. Push them back to their spawns. Yeah, they have four or five down out of their eight. 
Though we did see Dammit's with a nice crit reflect. Yeah. We will see that for Dammit. Blackhawk the spy moving into position, and we also see Unfor as a spy for G.O.D. flanking around the outside. Yeah, I expect we'll see Bronze Fox and Unforgiven and just doing their best to try to spread Red out. Stabs by Blackhawk there. Uh, the cart going backwards. Nice. There's Bronze, making sure to keep the cart moving the right way. So critical. Takes a stab, though. Blackhawk doing a nice job. Dig reconnection now, so hopefully he'll be back quick. Yeah, he jumps right in immediately. At least he loaded quickly. He's in as a heavy again. Now, see that L3 on the upper level. Yeah, now we'll see where this goes. Two minutes and 45 to go. They need to cap that first point to extend themselves some more time. They do. The engineer went down, so that gun is definitely vulnerable to some pill spam. There's a sap. Gun is going down. Yep. And that's kind of better watch out for that backstab. They do snuff out under Kitten, though they don't kill him. He gets away. I'm not sure if I like the splash that under guy. Is it full man? Three lightweight support classes there, part of the push. They really need to get on that cart and just make it to the edge. Every time it goes backwards, it is hurting them. It's not just making it to the point, it's how long it takes to make it to the point. And obviously, if you don't make it to any point whatsoever, that's bad. Now, as far as Ubers go, we've got... I believe we have a crits and a regular on red. I actually haven't seen... I know blue has a regular and a crit, so we're seeing identical loopers here. Although, red's carrying a lot more. They're nearly... Oh, they just found each one. And Seventhorn's about to have his. Blue team is pushing around, but I think they need to focus on jumping on that cart. Cart's going backwards. It has gone all the way back around the corner. Well, obviously, it's important to uh, group up and attack as a team. If you have somebody, especially a spy, who can get out there and keep the cart alive, keep it from going backwards, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble. They just lost yeah, the corner they fought for. And Gearbox is... Uh, I was wondering where he was. He actually had built and spawn and carried the full level 3 out. Dropped it out there. Risky, but... Uh, Only 60 seconds left. Unfor getting some stabs in over there. Nice icicles. 50 yeah, seconds. Three down on uh, 32X right now. This is going to be an opportunity to get this cart moving. They need to push. Nobody. There are the people on the cart. Level 3 gun up and ready to rock. Uh, key principle with the uh, payload, though. Max push is only three, so putting more than three on the cart doesn't help except for to give you some backup in case one goes down. Very close. 30 seconds. The cart is on the ramp to point number one. Now's the time. I'd love to see Unforgiven get in there, blue, decloak as a spy, see if he can get that edge in. Vexen's really pushing them back. There he, is uh, the spy. Kept them from flanking him. Siegfried right. almost gets it on for there. Ten seconds remaining. Scout jumps in. They're going to get it. They got they it with three it. Wow. seconds remaining. That was a hard-fought point. That level 3 sentry is still up there, raining terror upon them. Engineer is alive, so there goes the gun. Yeah, nice stab on Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Take the camera up behind and see what kind of defense we're looking at here. It's a fairly traditional defense, assuming that uh, Gear doesn't move his gun forward from there. You see uh, most of the players going over the top. The gun, the cart is going right beneath them. Well, the entire 32X team is over the top. Yeah, Only a sentry gun in the demo behind. It's very difficult to stop the cart in the underneath portion, but they need to be stopping it now that it's getting back on the other side. Agreed. Yeah, once it's on that uphill. Unforgiven just took out you, Madra, who was critzing as a heavy right at the beginning, really took that down. We see a big sticky trap on the cart there. Siegfried dodges it nicely, but then gets sniped by Kobe. This is a fun place to be a uh, demo man on defense. You get a lot Just of hill spam going on. Yeah, tons of hill spam. A lot of good places to put stickies and sticky traps. 
you can really chew him up as a demo man here. I expect to see Vexen and Video really just getting a lot of kills and chewing up a lot of uh, the blue team for a while here. Both teams using spies very effectively. 31 points between the two spies. That's first and second place on their respective teams. This is a spy-friendly map. It's wide open, flat ground, a lot of back passages, ways to go around the sides that can't be seen. See, the engineer goes down on the sentry, but the gun reacted in time and kept from being sapped. I'm actually almost surprised to see 32X not running a, uh, a pipe with a home record to back up the uh, engineer. The way the spying is going, it might not be a bad idea to swap over to that. As we know, Pyro is a useful class. Damn, it's Pyro in for GOD. No Pyro currently on 32X. They have, of course, the option to change class at any time and add one. This next point after two being a particularly with their, vulnerable one. With their player balance, I think they're they're sticking with explosives. I I think they've defended very well, so I can't argue with it. Agreed. And 30 and uh, 32X has always made it clear that explosives were really the right. Oh, that was a takedown on a medic. That was a big takedown on that medic. The gun yeah. is down. 32X is uh, slightly up on players. GOD needs to push that cart now. They have a good opportunity. Medic sees the spy, turns his back to keep safe. Ends in ten, seconds. ten seconds left, and here comes that last second push again. Are they going to make it? Last time I thought Red didn't do a good job putting bodies on the cart when they needed to. There's the spy. The oh, stuff, but I think they will this time. Spy almost made it there, and some fortuitous nice. crits save it. That's very nice play. So GOD gets Great. one point, and they did it in five minutes, twenty-five seconds. now immediately going to 32x's first push. There will be a minute and it looks like eight seconds of setup time. Mission begins in 60 seconds. That was a solid defense by a group of drunks. We'll be interested to see, or sorry, by the uh, 32x add-ons. I will be interested to see what group of drunks does uh, on their next push, if they uh, do the same plan or if they are able to put a couple more bodies on the cart. I think they'll, um, I'm looking at what they're, they've already switched out to. Wouldn't be surprised, uh, Mission begins in wouldn't be surprised seconds. at all that they stay with exactly where they are right now in terms of class balance. They will, uh, it looks like they're going to follow a similar script, only instead of the sniper, they're going to use the pyro. We'll see if Damitz uses the homewrecker and tries to balance out any risks from the spies on the gear. And we do see a uh, bronze fox in the engineer position building up top of the uh, one to two Four, hill. Three, two, yeah, that'll be interesting. One. I think they're looking at possibly an offensive engineer here to uh, keep them from getting flanked so badly. Oh wow! Yeah, they're launched by sticky bombs. The yeah. Madbra gets taken down by a surprise <laughs> grenade launch. <laughs> yeah, Uber goes on the demo instead, and ends up being ineffective. That can happen with a well-laid sticky trap, so uh, credit to the uh, group of drunks demo man who separated the patient from the medic. Yeah. Attention. We see uh, an offensive engineer on blue here, looking to get out instead of mini sentries, also to prevent the flank and protect the cart pushers. There is that mini sentry you mentioned. They're on the uh, left side of 32. Do Good job, we see, oh, they take down that left defense. Group of Drunks has most of its team with the cart now. Now they can, since all they have to do is cap this point, and they can do that without, the sentry gun won't necessarily stop them because of the distance. Yes, yeah, so if they crutch behind it, they will cap this point faster, which will automatically give them the win for this half. Yeah, they this just is, have to touch it. Good. Could be one of those cases where it goes quickly, or we'll see and if it there it is. Can. And that is the win for 32x right, on the first match, half. Guys. Fast, We're going to take a five-minute halftime here. If you need to swap any players or anything, do it now. Five-minute halftime. And uh, it didn't preserve the number, but that looked like it was four minutes and ten seconds or so left on the clock when they capped it, which means that was a roughly one minute and fifteen second cap. It's almost as fast as you can do it.
Yeah, that was, was a little stop time in there. Well coordinated, that's for sure, and they never once let it go backwards. So we're now at halftime, intermission, and uh, we'll come back and we'll see 32X will push first this time, so same teams. And uh, a group of drunks will push second. So obviously uh, 32X's game plan there in the first half worked pretty darn well. Not a whole lot I can say about that. Um, what do we need to see group of drunks do uh, on both defense and offense, do you think, to change their luck in the second half? Uh, for them, I'd like to see them uh, push out and get that fight away from the cart a little more and give their couple of guys pushing the cart room. I think they fought near the cart a lot and let uh, they let 32 x stop them quite a bit and, and bog them down. They got to spread them out a little more. As, as good as Unforgiven was, they need a little more than that. And looking at the stats right now, we see Unforgiven did rack up 27 points, easily topping his team uh, during that last round. Over on the other side, uh, Blackhawk, 25 points, spying for 32x, so the spy is devastatingly effective here. Yeah, just so much room. There's so much room for a spy to work. A lot of good hiding spots for pretty much any watch they want you on. Let's see, Checkmate has left. Bringing in Darklano. Checkmate out, that generally means Siegfried's going to be uh, handling things for the team. At least he's the uh, lieutenant, so he's probably running the show now. How much do y'all think being shorthanded to lead off that last match hurt God? It's certainly not helpful to be shorthanded, but I think the uh, the tactic was more to blame than the shorthandedness because we saw that even when they were back to full strength, they were playing at the very edge of the limits, the time limits. They were they were hanging back That's a little correct, bit. Dixon. So, I mean, it, it's demoralizing. It doesn't help. It might have changed things, but it feels like the result probably would have been the same either way. They might have had a little more time to get to the second point because it wouldn't have taken so long for them to get to the first. And as they did have the cart on the ramp of the point when they ran out of time, it might have made a difference and they might have kept going. But the speed with which 32 pushed through immediately onto the first point would have given them a significant advantage overall. So hard to say that it would have changed the overall result. I'm wondering if uh, 32X will change anything or if they will be happy with how they did and just say, well, let's just do it again and make them stop us. If I were 32X, which I'm not, but if I were 32X, <laughs> I would just do the same thing again. Honestly, they, <laughs> they've proven they can do well and they need to, their opponent needs to prove that it can be stopped. All right, I, I think they look great. I guess the only thing that they're going to do is probably worry a little bit about Unforgiven. Probably not change up too much and let it get in their heads, but... You see Young has signed out of the game for Group of Drunks, so we may be seeing another one, another uh, drunk player coming in. G.O.D. Y'all got a ninth coming in? There we see Moonray has drunk. connected on behalf of the group of drunks. It's been long. I had to work early. We see uh, Bronze now on Demo Man with Alpha Panda switching to uh, Engineer for Group of Drunks, so that is a change from what we saw in the last round. 
Still in and Dutchman on medic, joined by Darklino now. Hun 4 is gone at the moment at least to scout. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure. Not sure exactly how they'll shake out, especially with Moonray coming in. What I think of typically as a heavy, but also a demo. What he will do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, every Who's once in a while, when you ready up again, it will switch teams. The server will automatically. If that happens, I'm gonna have to reload the map and we'll try it again. Because 32X is pushing first this time. That one of the odd and pretty much unpredictable effects of tournament mode with stopwatch sometimes, it does exactly what Flash just uh, You know, it's kind of a crapshoot. You could ready up and it could leave you where you are, or you could switch teams and then it would leave you where you are. Um, you know, if it just happens, I'll reload the map and then 32X go blue, GOD go red. I have to say, I kind of feel bad for the soldiers in this game. It has not been a very rewarding first match for soldiers. Too it's wide open, I guess. Very wide open. Great for reflecting if there are uh, pyros such as dammits in the game. And yeah, just being that open doesn't give you the kind of the, the surprise corners that a lot of our soldiers use so well. Yeah, uh, gets probably gets sniped. You get sniped, <laughs> and with a slow-moving projectile at a long range, people can dodge it pretty readily. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the ready up here. Siegfried, indeed, readied up for group of junks. They're waiting on 32. There it is. Three, two, one. Yeah, and it switched okay. the team. Reloading so the we're <laughs> reloading the map. Reload. Mission Unpredictable begins. whether or not it will do that. Teams are joining up quickly, so hopefully we'll get going right away here. Yes, indeed. But, uh, yeah, 17 of the 18 players we need are already back in their places. Siegfried. Siegfried as the lieutenant right, running the show for, ready up and let's go. for a group of drunks. Match is uh, 32. 32 also being run by a lieutenant, McLovin, tonight handling it as uh, Domer is out of town. Yes, uh, Set of pretty capable Good. captains, though. So Siegfried actually miss anything, disappearing there as Fing Golfin is joining the game. A last second switch. Fing typically seen as a heavy. Yep, which is fine because he's replacing Sig, who's been playing heavy. Yep. Uh, Siegfried is the one been having uh, some connection problems for GOD, so looks like they decided just to stop yep. risking it and let him off. Yep, sure did. Fing has been working as the sergeant running. for G.O.D., so he's kind of in that uh, that management role as well. Very good. 
All right, looks like he's in place and ready, so as soon as that team readies up, we'll be good to go. Underway setup time here. Teams remain correct this time, so we got 32x in the right place. God in the right place. God setting up defense. And here, Dammit's already puffing flames. Let's see where their engineer sets up. Watching Alpha Panda. Bronze Fox wisely destroying himself to give out extra ammunition to Alpha Panda as a technique that's very valuable in this sort of long setup time, which a lot of people don't use. Yeah, there's not a lot of metal convenient to the location where uh, Alpha Panda's building. Bronze Fox, being the engineer on the previous round, probably knew that and uh, arranged to do exactly what he just did, which is a very good, helpful move for the team. Doesn't hurt him himself in the slightest. So we're seeing... I think we're seeing an Uber and a Kritzkrieg out the gate here for G.O.D. Dutchman with a standard Three, Uber and two, Darkolino one. with a Kritzkrieg on the defense. That's correct. Yeah. I think we'll see the same on offense, but I haven't seen both medics. Oh, they take the heavy out. There's a regular the Uber. Trap. Once again with a sticky trap separating Umadra from his medic, but the medic gets back in range until Dammit comes in and starts air blasting. So good job breaking up that Uber there again. And yeah, GOD did a nice job getting away from the Uber and getting around the uh Getting behind that shed so they don't uh, don't get broken up there when they have the other crits out. Here comes the crits for four. There's a crit. It runs into an Uber Pyro. Uber Pyro annihilates them. Nice to see G.O.D. save that Uber for that crit. Screen. Yes, that was well saved. However, Flying Dutchman goes down to a nice shot by Kobe Bryant. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we see. Pingo got headshot right after he wins the uh, heavy duel there. On board with Black Widow there. He's 80% Uber trying to stay alive behind the cart. He's taking some hits, though. Looks like he's yeah. retreating back to spawn to fight safety. Well, we're absolutely seeing a better defense so far here from GOD. Yeah, we are. I'm going on board now with Blackhawk as spy. Let's see what he does. At this point, they were they were about five feet from the uh, point. Oh, he Blackhawk gets lit on fire. He goes down. Nice catch by Dance. Trying to use the Uber on the uh, sentry gun. They're not going to be able to with that Wrangler. Nice stab by Unfor. Oh, takes yeah. out the medic. They <laughs> they stop it. They oh, stop it. Couldn't stop it. Bronze almost swords down Umadra. Yeah. Lemon no, hopping no. over the top here. Flanks no around. On blue. So 32X may have problems with the sentry location if they, uh, oh. There they cleared out before it doesn't it gets built up. Nice stab by Unfor takes out Black Widow, the medic, again. So 2 minutes and 11 seconds, that's about 40 seconds faster than, or slower than last round. That sentry gun position we see there from Group of Drunks, it's tucked a little close to that building to its right. That does help protect it from incoming spam from people going around the corner. It also makes it a little more vulnerable to people in the window. It's a trade-off. All in all, though, that is a, uh, a good spot for a gun. It usually does cause some problems, because as you said, 32 is not running a spy. There's a crits coming over the top. Heavy crits for 32. Pushing in with a mini sentry to help them. They run into the level three. Level three takes down the crit heavy. They actually got uh, they actually got pushed ahead by a. Uh, they pushed a lot farther ahead than he planned to do. 
Well, there's always a possibility, and so far the G.O.D. demos have proven very good at uh, pushing people apart from where they want to be. They use their stickies very well to break up medic-patient combos. Attention. Five minutes left in the mission. Five minutes left in the mission. See a suicide run by Blackhawk there to touch the cart, keep it from going backwards. As both teams are readying up for a bit of a scrap here. See a combo. There's going to be combo versus combo in very close range. You mad bro comes out on top, takes out Darkman and Dutchman. And uh, one Uber used, and we're going to have another one that could oh, shortly. Beautiful so. air blast there yeah, well by Damitz. Shoves the Uber Heavy way too far away from the gun to be useful. Down goes the medic. The combination of an air blast Chris and a level 3 sentry. Oh, Crits takes the medic. Nice. And they get the gun down. That should be enough for them to capture this point. And we'll get to see the second half of the map for a change, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, not quite, though. No, they're fighting hard. Group of Drunks not giving up, which is, of course, exactly what they need to do, because every second counts. Oh, stab by Unfor takes out Fing at a perfect moment. Yeah. Group of Drunks fighting hard, keeping this alive. Eight seconds till the cart goes back. 32 would be wise to suicide somebody on the cart to keep it from going backwards. There it goes. You see Kobe, I believe that is, sniping from... Yeah, that's Kobe, sniping from over the cliff behind the cart. Very hard to find that spot, but vulnerable to getting shoved off the cliff if somebody does see him. I think we're going to see 32 x here just try to get a... The dead wrong spy. Pick, pick them down or get their Ubers and push in. There comes a crits again. Crits on a demo. Spy lead. Nice stickies. Jesus faction clears some folks off the cart. Not quite Uber's enough. Used, Two points in 525. That's the same exact amount of time as it took to get the first point in the first round. Uh, for G.O.D. to uh, 25 to get the first point yes. in the first round, though. Yes. We have a little downhill here, and then I think we'll, we'll see where uh, G.O.D. gets us set up. 32 now running a spy. We see Blackhawk has changed over. We're going to see the pyro out here for sure. There's a lot of opportunity to push people off the map right where the, uh, for quite a while here. Yeah, Dammit should be in his element if he can get close enough. the moment, though, 32 getting a fairly good push. They're about halfway up the long ramp. They're keeping, uh, they're keeping G.O.D. far enough back that they can't lay fire over the edge onto the cart pushers, which means that uh, they're really getting a free push up the ramp here. That's, this is really what you, you need to be. This is your game plan to do this. Yeah, this is textbook. Sniper and engineer doing almost all the cart pushing way in the back. They've done what their job is, and they're going to easily get the third point. Third point in 6.42. Now it'll tighten up a little bit here as they get closer to the final area. But Blue does have a big presence right outside the spawn. They do. Those two little buildings are where the spawn doors are, so they have to make sure not to be too forward on those, but they're doing all right. This payload is just rolling right in. Looks like, oh, the spy goes down. That may have been the last chance to really stop this push. Engineer still just pushing the cart. Yeah, you see Moon Ray falls into the, the pit. There it goes. 727. Four points. Great second half from 32X. Struggled a little early, but... Once they get to the halfway point, they pushed it almost uncontested the whole way. They really did. Their forward unit did an excellent job. I mean, two, two, one minute and 57 seconds to cap the second whole second half. That's just impressive. And now we're reversed, so of course 32X is now in setup period to defend, and Group of Drunks is going to try and respond to that impressive second half by 32. It's absolutely possible. Uh, 32X did get bogged down quite a bit for the first minute uh, of the game, or minute and a half. But uh, GOD is going to have to push 
almost non-stop. They'll have about a minute and a half worth of non-pushing time, probably, to uh, to beat 7.27. That's just a, a really fast time. Yeah, they have to stay on task and on target the entire time. We do see uh, the Engineer for 32 building the same place he did last time. Blackhawk uh, replicating what Bronze Fox did, killing himself for the Engineer to give the NG some stuff. Some metal. Unfortunately, it looks like one of the demos may have accidentally taken the full metal that the Engineer was going for. But he does get his level 3 up and in place. Yeah, this might just uh, slow down the arrival of the dispenser. Which is critical. Now, of course, one thing to remember is that with 32 having gone the entire way, it doesn't matter how long it's taken on any individual point now for a group of drunks, but they do have to get it all the way through all four points, and they have to do it faster. Oh, great backstabber from Unforgiven there. Shut that down. Shut that down. We see Bing, now a large unit both. pushing. Bing is heavy to suck out both of 32X's medics there, back to back. We see some pill spam long range coming in on the gun. They pop up. There it goes. It goes down just as the shield comes up. Now, how, how 32X responds here is going to be really important. If they, if they don't consolidate nicely, this is how they pushed the G.O.D. all the way through. It sure is, and Group of Drunks knows this. They're pushing as a group. Let's see a couple of them get a little farther forward. Watch the spy. Bad luck stab attempts there. Blackhawk got one, but not able to take the rest. 6.13 left when they capped the first, which means they did actually get the first point faster. And they did. been a, a minute 14 to take the first point versus 2.11 when 32 was pushing. Kind of surprised 32X has not pushed somebody to Pyra at this point. Unforgiven is kind of destroying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. doing a, he's doing a ton of work. Unfor, as, as a spy, is, is tied with work. UMAD as the lead heavy over on 32. 30 points each. And group of drunks keeping the cart pushing as they need to. See a gun going up in a very similar spot on uh, 32's defense as it was on group of drunks defense. We'll see what their luck is. As they flank the combo. Both heavies go down simultaneously. Alpha Panda saved that. That could have been a, uh, a bad situation for 32x there. If they can clear the right, this is a spot where, with a gun where it is, you can walk behind the car and push it all the way to the point. I've done it before on pubs. Obviously, there goes the gun. Obviously, this team a little better than you're going to find on the average pub. But it's a possible, possible way to go. Currently, uh, there's some forgiven. Group of Drunks has an Uber ready and is using a second Uber. There's both Ubers, a crits and a regular. They're going to push this, and they're going to be ahead of the curve. Must have wasted crits because uh, 431 or so. Yeah, Uber killed there. everybody first. And there's the heavy Blackhawk. Or uh, Blackhawk has gone pyro. Forgive me if my math is a slightly off here, but I believe that was two minutes and 56 seconds to get to the second point versus 525 by 32. So group of drunks is really putting some work in here. They absolutely are. They have about two minutes. Uh, ahead of uh, that they can go slower in the pack half than 32x and still still win this one. So yeah, uh, I see 32x. I believe it's a one second short of two and a half minutes, uh, if my math was correct, which I'm doing on the fly, so it might not be, but I believe it is. Yeah, we're seeing 32x kind of gather around this elbow, and I think they're going to try to they're going to let him move it forward and see if they can hold this. See that? There's a spy coming in that could be dangerous if he gets a stab. He doesn't, but this heavy does go down. Spy still alive, trying to get behind the medics. Uh, they run into a heavy, unescorted. That long-range uh, sentry gun we're seeing could be a sticking point if they don't get it up this hill. Yeah, the, the Wrangler means no damage falling up. Maximum distance. There it is. Uh, it's up the hill. They need to get it on the point. Oh! Vexen saves the cart just as it's on the point. They need to touch that right now. If they touch that, they will oh, yeah. have an advantage, but the advantage will rapidly disappear if they can't get back up there quickly. 
Yeah, they, they do have three minutes to get this pushing, but uh, it's going to take about a minute to push it all the way down. So they have about two probably to get it over that hump. They need to touch, just touch the cart. That's all that matters right now is they need to touch that cart. There's a good jump by uh, Bronze Fox. He gets it on before being sniped. Looks like around 249 remaining. Now the uh, previous team did the final push in 45 seconds from 3 to 4. So we know that that's about the minimum they went full speed in, so that's about the minimum that's needed. We'll see if Group of Drunks can maintain their pace and get this last one in. See a spy back there gets a stab on a medic. He is dead ringing and being very effective. They just really need to keep bodies on it. They need to keep their uh, their push rate as high as they can. The gun goes down to a nice pill work by Jesus Faction with assistance from Dark Lino. Now we see that car coming forward. Crits is out. Medic goes down, but he had already used his crits if I saw that correctly. Minute 51, and they're about to make the next to last turn. We see the heavy for Group of Drunks is in the building. There's a demo laying stickies inside. They may have this. There's going to be about one try for 32 to block this from getting in there. Yeah, they're going to need a great work to do this with everybody pretty much up for G.O.D. Everybody for G.O.D. just needs to be on or right next to that cart. Watch that spy. 127 remaining, and they're on the ramp. That's game. Unforgiven takes the spy out. That should end it. Wow, that was an amazing everybody effort. Amazing effort. So, the group of drunks and 32X split. 1-1. Great game, guys. They that tie really up. That puts both teams uh, now. Let's see. The gr group of drunks is going to be seven and one. Thirty-two X will be five and three. We'll see y'all next weekend. Thanks, gentlemen. That and means ladies. the group of drunks does have. Uh, let's see. Well, if they, if they these two face off, the final yeah, they should. It's still possible for them not to, but they would have to collapse. Not I sure. I think it would have to come down if GOD went 0 and 2 next week, and 32X goes 2 and 0. Time wins out. Time goes 2 and 0, and then Time won on a next tiebreaker. I think. Well, who does Time play next week though? Then don't they play? Time plays 32X? against Group of Drunks next week. Right. And so that will be a hell of a match because right, there will so be possibly a finals berth on the line, depending on what uh, 32X and Cup and Cakes do. Right. Or it could be they're both in and they're just. Uh, Getting practice. That <laughs> could be. We, we, are, we will know more, because they are the last match next week. We'll already know 32X and Cup and Cakes' fate. They both face, uh, face each other next week as well on CP Furnace RC.